David Douglas Grow Your Own program is one of the best examples of a community-driven mission that is seeking long-term sustainable change. No one of us is going to make the difference in our system, but piece by piece, day by day, we can be working to make sure that our systems, that our structures, that our schools represent the communities that we seek to serve. There is so much inherent value in having our students have teachers who look like them, who represent them, who can connect with them at a level that you just can't if you don't have some of those shared backgrounds. I want to become an educator because uh, representation really matters to me. As I was growing up, I didn't really see many people that look like me or many people of color until my freshman year of high school and I thought that was really beautiful because I finally had someone that understood me and I didn't have to explain myself to. To understand being culturally responsive is much more than just a practice of teaching, it's more of a, a way of life and to be proud of the person that you are. I really grew up in a school that embraced my Mexican heritage and we were so loud and we were so present. We had a lot of dances and posadas that were all just Latin oriented. Uh, we also had a lot of Polynesian students that brought out their culture in our like assemblies and everything. It was really fun. I never felt ashamed of who I was. So I feel really privileged in that sense that I grew up with mentors and teachers that um, were either Mexican themselves or embraced that and celebrated that. I did have a few teachers in high school who uh, were Latino, who were immigrants like me. And I remember feeling especially connected to those teachers and inspired by them. Um, they did give me that sense that I could be a professional or I could be a person with a professional job. And I just remember um, the relationships I built with those teachers making a big difference for me in that sense of identity that I had and the possibilities for my future. And the teacher that I had, she shared a lot of like struggles just with me as identity crisis, like not knowing where I fit in because I am Mexican, but I, it's hard because when I go to Mexico, I'm the white girl, but when I'm here, I'm the brown girl. So it was nice seeing that I had a teacher that had that same struggle. People of color that are considering education, I, I mean, I feel like our students need you. I know that like students that have gender and race matching role models, they think bigger for themselves, they get better grades, they graduate from high school at a higher rate. Teachers of color are more needed now than ever before. Not just teachers, but counselors, social workers, administrators. Every single position of education is calling for diversity, is calling for representation, and we are the answer. A lot of the reasons given for not having a diverse teacher workforce are that there aren't enough candidates. And I think that, um, to some extent, that's been the case, but I think that we have to do something about that. We just can't continue to have that be an excuse for why we don't have teachers of color. And so I think the Grow Your Own program is exactly what we need in this district. I think there's so much strength in the David Douglas School District. And when I look at the strengths that my students have, those are the strengths that I know can be cultivated to um, become excellent educators and excellent educators for the community that they're in. I went to David Douglas High School and that's where I was able to run into some role models. Once I went to college and got my history degree, I've discovered a lot of answers and now I needed to provide them to my community. Mi nombre es Andreina Velasco y soy maestra de preescolar bilingüe en la escuela Lincoln Park um, del distrito David Douglas. Uh, soy la primera maestra bilingüe del distrito pero no voy a ser la última. A las personas de nuestra comunidad, personas latinas, personas afroamericanas, personas de todo tipo de culturas, especialmente personas de color, los quiero en este momento animar al 100% a que consideren ser maestros en nuestro distrito. ¿Por qué? Porque la mayoría de estudiantes en nuestro distrito son personas de color y hasta el momento no se han visto representados por nuestro personal. Ustedes, como personas de nuestra comunidad, personas de color, uh, conocen, entienden de una manera muy profunda las experiencias de los estudiantes y sobre todo los quieren enormemente y quieren que, que sean lo mejor posible. Entonces necesitamos personas que tengan esa, esa conexión con nuestros estudiantes, que tengan ese cariño, ese respeto para, con ellos, para que todos nuestros estudiantes puedan tener una experiencia positiva, una experiencia más diversa, más rica, eh, a través de su, su carrera educativa. I always felt an empty place on inside of me when it came to the, the world of education. And 
I knew that having the drive to want to change would would give an opportunity for someone else. I actually have a conversation with my students a lot about if they might want to become an educator in the future. A lot of times it's from the students who you might not expect. I think sometimes I've heard adults talk to kids and say, oh, you'd be a great teacher someday because they're always the teacher helper. They always want to staple the packets or they always want to, you know, erase the board for you or things like that. And I'm sure there's great future teachers in there. But I think also we have to look at the students who you might not always assume would fit that mold. Students who are um, maybe, maybe struggling a little bit with the way that school is and the expectations that school has for them and the way the system operates. And I've had conversations with them about being the one to change it in the future and that if they see things happening that they don't agree with or that frustrate them, to grow into becoming a teacher so that they can change those things. And that is how our system will change, is from the inside out and from the students who grew their roots in this community. Uh, the reason I'm an educator is growing up, I never felt a sense of belonging in, in the school system. I was in the B room. When I reflect on those experiences, I always felt misunderstood and labeled. High school is so important because they gave me opportunity to escape from the label. And I feel like everything that I've made with my life now is came from being able to escape the B room and get into mainstream education. It also made me believe in myself when I didn't believe in myself at one point. I didn't realize the power of being a person of color in an educator's role until I actually got into the classroom and saw how students responded to me and how much they needed that influence and that model and seeing someone who looks like them up in front of them, leading them, being a model and guiding. And so I would tell somebody who is a person of color that we need more of those role models. You have to kind of set the example and lead by example for what you want to see. And I just have to pinch myself every day because I'm in a position to change the lives of kids who look like me and to show them that you can be greater than what you see around you. I think that the David Douglas Grow Your Own program is a good opportunity for people who already work in Douglas. We have a large staff of classified staff of color um, who support our students in many, many ways, but they are currently in a position that it is a support, it's an assistance, and I think it would be really important for our kids to see those people work toward becoming that lead and that role model, that teacher in the classroom. De hecho, yo quería ser maestra o veterinaria cuando estaba en high school, pero por alguna razón o por otra, pues no pude y solamente me quedé trabajando y hasta que um, Sabrina, she actually helped me to get into this job. And then there I was given the opportunity to join this program and go back to school. So for me, it was like a great opportunity and I'm so thankful for that. I think the Grow Your Own program is awesome. I think that our district really has a heart for diversity um, and for representation. Um, and I love that. I also think that we have to back up our intentions with actions and the Grow Your Own program is a perfect example of that because um, David Douglas values equity and values diversity and values all these different cultures and they're backing that up by saying let's support our staff of color, let's support all this staff that wants to be in our district and teach our students. I wanted to capture the importance of the Grow Your Own program. I wanted to capture the importance of diversifying our staff. And it's time, right? And now we're actually putting action to it and I'm super excited about it. When we think of our district strategic plan, when we think of our equity plan, all of this work that we're doing now aligns with it. And our students need to see themselves in their teachers. I think it's motivating um, and I think it's where we need to be headed. We need to ensure that we continue to diversify our staff because all students belong.